For decades, Area 51 has represented the eye of conspiratorial hurricane that swirls around evidence that aliens exist and are hiding behind its wall. Books, TV shows, and even massive online raids have tried to glimpse beyond its stark signs warning against trespassers. While aliens are not taking up residence in the compound, what is going on there is just as interesting. This is Gateway to Knowledge and today I will tell you the real story behind the myth of Area 51. Where is Area 51 located? In the middle of barren Nevada desert, there is a dusty unmarked road that led to the front gate of Area 51. It is protected by little more than a chain link fence, a boom gate and an intimidating trespassing sign. One would think that America's much mid-sized top secret military base would be under closed guard but makes no mistake. They are completely watching. Beyond the gate, cameras see every angle. On the distant hilltop, there is a white pickup truck with a tinted windshield peering down on everything. The local community says that the base knows every desert tortoise and jackrabbit that hopes the fence. The others claim that there are embedded sensors in the approaching road. But what is exactly going inside the Area 51? This has led to many speculations. One of the main speculations is the alien conspiracy that some visitors from the outer space are somewhere tugged inside it. One of the more colorful rumors insists the infamous 1947 Roswell crash that was actually a Soviet aircraft piloted by mutated midjets and the damaged aircraft remains on the ground of Area 51. Some even believe that the US government filmed the 1969 moon landing in one of the base hangars. For all the myths and the legends, what's true is that Area 51 is real and it is still very active. There may be aliens or a moon landing movie set inside those fences. There may not be aliens or a moon landing movie is set inside those fences but something is going on and only a few persons know that what is going down on the closely monitored wind sweeping the Nevada's road. The forbidden aspect of Area 51 is what makes people want to know what is there and there is surely something going on. Now what are the origins of this mystery? Starting from very beginning. The Area 51 is directly related to the development of U-2 aircraft. After the Second World War, the Soviet Union lowered the Iron Curtain around themselves and the rest of the Eastern Bloc creating a new intelligence blackout to the rest of the world. America was worried about the USSR's technologies, intentions and ability to launch a surprise attack. In the early 1950s, US Navy and Air Force sent low-flying aircraft on a mission over the USSR, but they were at a constant risk of being shot down. In November 1954, the President Eisenhower approved the secret development of high-altitude aircraft called the U-2 program. One of the first orders of business was to track down a remote covert location for training and testing of such aircraft. They found it in the southern Nevada desert near a salt flat known as Groom Lake, which was once used in the Second World War for Army Air Corps pilot. This area was designated as Area 51 on the map. To convince workers to come to this top secret military base, Kelly Johnson, who was one of the leading engineers of the U-2 project, gave it a more fascinating name as Paradise Ranch. But how they actually made this a myth? The testing of U-2 aircraft began in July 1955 and the immediate reports that were published were demonstrating that there are some unidentified flying objects in the sky. Many of these unidentified objects were observed by the commercial airline pilots who had never seen an aircraft flying at such an altitude as the U-2. In the mid-1950s, the airlines flew at a height of 10,000 and 20,000 feet, but the U-2 aircraft which was flying at a height of 60,000 feet would have completely looked like an alien spacecraft. At that time, Air Force officials knew the majority of the inside but they were not allowed to reveal this detail to the public. So this natural phenomena came to an end when Grey Power's U-2 was shot down by Russia. 
but don't go anywhere because now I will tell you the truth of Area 51. It is very much in use nowadays. According to Google Earth, new constructions and expansions are continuously happening over there. If you are a visitor to Area 51, you can spot strange lights in the sky moving up and down. No, it's not UFO. It's actually the semi-secret contract commuter airline using the call sign Janet that transport workers from the Las Vegas Macron Airport to the military airbase. As for what is happening these days in the America's most secretive military airbase, only a few persons knows about this. But the speculations are there that there are many advanced weapons, electronic warfare system, classified aircraft and direct energy weapons are under development in the base. But the question that should come into your mind is that how can you explore Area 51? Fact or fiction? Aliens are a big source of tourism. You will definitely agree with me. In 1996, the state of Nevada actually renamed the Route 375 as the Extraterrestrial Highway, which was actually the way to the Area 51 and the destinations such as Alien Research Centers dot the way. On the west side of Area 51, there is the Alien Cat House, which is advertised as the only alien themed brothel in the world. Geocaching also attracts visitors here since the highway is considered as a mega trial with over 2000 geocaches hidden in this area. However, if you are planning to have a trip to Area 51, you should keep some important points in your mind. It is desert all around. So bring plenty of water, snacks and have proper weather gear for the hot days and the cold nights. Phone services and the GPS probably won't work there. So have printouts and actual maps. Gas stations are few and far in between. So carry spare fuel and tires. Also remember, the government doesn't really want you peering into Area 51 because you are being closely observed or even intimidated by guards and security. Do not trespass under any circumstances or arrest and heavy fines will await for you. So that was all from my side. But if you are a new visitor to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for my new video. Until next time, stay healthy, stay shiny.